Good morning. Okay, para sa ating devotional this morning, um, January 20, 2022. Ang pamagati is, the earth is full of His goodness. So, ang tanong dito is, how can we know God? Paato natin malalaman na may Diyos. Okay. So, we have um, Psalms 33, chapter 33, verse 5 and 6. It says here, He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord, but the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of His mouth. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, thank you for the message that we are going to study today. It will help us understand the great love unto us, to the nature that we can see around us. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, the earth is full of His goodness. When you look at the stars, and then you track the revolution that it's going on there in the course of trackless space follow from age to age in the appointed path down to the minutes the atoms the things the nature the things of nature they all obey god's creator's will you uphold the unnumbered um, worlds throughout immensity at the same time cares. Yeah, he cares for the ones of little sparrow that sings a humble song without fear. So, kung makita po natin dito, um, dito sa Matthew 26, chapter 6, verse 25 and 26, sabi ng Panginoon, um, uh, worry not about what you eat or drink or wear, for um, you are um, more okay or greater than the sparrows. The sparrows uh, don't no has no worries about uh, their food. You can hear them singing, and um, God said, Jesus said. You are much more, much more greater than the sparrows. So we can see that men, when men go forth to their daily toil as they engage in prayer, when they lie down at night and when they rise up in the morning, when the rich man feasts in his palace or when the poor man gathers his children about a scanty board, each is tenderly watched by the Heavenly Father. Steps to Christ, page 86. So, God is constantly employed in upholding and using His servants the things that He has made. So, ano mga bagay na to? He worked through the loss, the loss of nature using them as His instrument. They are not self-acting. Nature in her work testify the intelligent presence of the active agency of uh, God. And um, we have this, uh, they move according to His will. So it is the presence of intelligence well, uh, being an active agency of this um, supernatural being who moves them according to his will. So we can see here the loss of nature, loss of gravity, the revolution of planets around the sun, and uh, much more which the heavens can tell us. It is by inherent power year by year that each 
Uh, this earth yields its bounties and uh, continues its march around the sun. So the hand of the infinite one is it continues its work guiding this planet. It is God's power continually exercised that keeps the earth in position to its rotation as well as to its revolution around the sun. It is God who causes the sun to rise in the heavens. He opens the windows of heaven and gives us rain. So it is His power that vegetation is caused to flourish, that every leaf appears and every flower bloom, and that every fruit develop for us to have our food. The Ministry of Healing, page 416. So, uh, by this we know that there is a God who has created all this. First, from the sparrows we learn the lessons of no worry. From the lilies of the fields, we can uh, hear, see, the, okay, we can read that in Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 29 to 30. They neither toil nor spin, but the heavenly Father have clothed them and have provided for their needs. So how much more that we uh, humans have have been much cared by the Heavenly Father who provided us with everything and this provision is ever present in our daily lives. So again, I want to read in Psalms 33, chapter 5 and 6 in our um, key text this morning. He loved righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens, were the heavens made and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Thank you and God bless us this morning.